Oh, whoops. <clears throat> In the middle of my egg sandwich. Uh, hello. How are you doing? Greetings. Evidently, I am broadcasting to an audience of Eli. No more, no less. So in that case, how you doing, Eli? I have a large eggy sandwich I have to finish eating. Nothing but Eli's here. Yes, Quartz, exactly. Which is why your name's not Quartz. Ooh la la. Also, hello, Akira Storm. <laughs> hello, everyone. Adds another month to the run. Hey, how are you, Will? 52 months. That's a long time. Thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, that's that's four and a four and a third years. Wow. Four years, four months. Yeah, I think that's four years and four months. Man, that's a long time. Hmm. Hmm. Pulling the bacon out of sandwich. Oh, hey, look. This is this is like the the item in Starfield. Just a just a, you know, a sandwich that's like eaten, slowly rotating around in your face, you know. Doing good? Well, that's fantastic. <clears throat> I got to bed too late last night, and then. Well, getting to bed too late was a, is an entire story. Not an interesting one, though. So I got to bed too late last night, which naturally meant I got up too late today. And I'm out of, um, I'm out of bread to, uh, to make my breakfast out of, you know, like uh, the whole wheat that I bake. So I have to make use with uh, the stuff in the cabinet and make a sandwich instead. Didn't know you had started doing food ASMR. Is the microphone picking up that much? I don't, I don't, I'm trying to make certain that you can't hear my, my chewing and noise and everything. That stuff drives me nuts. Like, Good Mythical Morning, I've watched a decent amount of that, but man, you can hear them biting in and chewing stuff so frequently. Not okay. Not in my opinion, anyway. Oh, I saw the YouTube short that was made. Bethesda really backpedaled on the base building, didn't they? A big part of me feels like base building in um, Starfield isn't... It was never supposed to be what base building in Fallout 4 was, because in Fallout 4, it was very thematic. It was like, hey, you need to... You need to rebuild the world because it's been destroyed. So base, like you have to build bases and you have to survive and you have to rebuild the community. That was thematic to the main story. It was a question of who was going to be rebuilding the world. Was it going to be the Minutemen? Was it going to be the Institute? Was it going to be the, uh, the Railroad? Or was it going to be the Brotherhood? Those were your options. So base building was thematic to the game. And I have my complaints about the... Uh, you can hear some chewing. Ah, I see. I'll try to keep my distance from the mic then. Anyways. It was thematic to be building tons and tons of settlements in Fallout 4 because of the purpose of the story. Um, and what you were trying to achieve. However, uh, and, and in Starfield, you're not trying to rebuild the world. In fact, thematically, making outposts has, as far as the main story I've gone through, uh, as far into the main story as I've gotten, outpost building has no purpose to it, you know? Outposts would be more necessary if planets were more hostile. <clears throat> 
just so you know, I'm not crabbing. No, 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 no. I get, I get you. I get you. Like, um, I feel that outposts were a uh, an integral part to the game's design right up until they started taking out a bunch of the survival mechanics because it's very clear from mechanics that are in the game, like your fuel tanks and whatnot, to uh, to tool tips on the loading screens that talk about how you know you you have to be careful about like how much fuel you use you can't use up your fuel in the game it's very and and for that matter the devs have spoken outright that's like oh yeah that we used to have these survival mechanics and then we stripped them out because it was in uh interrupting things like like with an extremely hard, harsh atmosphere needing to outpost to recover health and stuff yeah like i think personally i look at the whole outpost system and i'm like this this feels a whole lot like the the primary purpose of it was to literally scrape together an outpost so you could refuel your ship out in the middle of nowhere like if you're if you're in the more the settled system area it's way more likely that you're going to be able to find a um like a civilian outpost or something where they can sell you some uh helium or something but the further out into the the uncharted or or the empty space on the right side of the star map like it feels like you were supposed to be building your own personal little fueling stations and those would grow into something more interesting. Um, and I think that that works for a game. I've played enough No Man's Sky to understand the value of like just being able, like the fun of being able to go out to wherever, look around a little bit and then just basically leave. And maybe you have a re you're like, oh, that's a valuable resource. I'm going to set down a base here type thing. Um, and I think that Bethesda was kind of moving in that direction, and then they realized, oh shit, wait, people know us for the fun, bang bang, shooty, go through a dungeon experience, and they they went and they took a whole bunch of stuff out because the survival mechanics were interrupting with the adventure stuff that they as a company are known for in their games. So, I would be surprised if they didn't add that stuff back in in the long term. I'm getting the feeling that Bethesda might be supporting this game. Like, they might have a small team supporting this game for way, way longer than um, than normal. Not not in the capacity of like, oh, we're, we're still releasing content for it. More like somewhat, like the, there's, there's gonna be a small team working on like keeping the game running well and fixing the very odd bug that shows up way down the line type thing. I just, I have a strange feeling about it, you know? So like, to that end, you know, to the end of, um, it feels like the outposts were intended to basically be built as fueling stations, a home away from a real home. Um, like the what the fact that you can't build foundations and create a factory floor essentially you're just basically putting things out on the dirt um instead of building a proper foundation for a proper base it's thematic if you look at it from that perspective so oh man that's good coffee that's a fresh roast this is a, this is a fresh roast that i have today oh yeah We talking about the failings of the outpost system? Failings might be a little bit of an extreme way to talk about it. I'm more talking about what I what it feels like it was supposed to be. Fresh roast. Yes. Taste the acrylamide. Which is not something you need to worry about actually. <clears throat> <laughs> if you even know what acrylamide is, 
So. Some of the perks could use an overhaul. Almost all of the social skills are worthless or don't work. Yep. Yep. I mean, <clears throat> Bethesda doesn't really seem to understand what makes perks good or fun. And they, they've, they've for a long time, they've been like, we hate numbers in our RPG, which is a problem. <laughs> Because numbers are the primary way that any RPG functions, and I'm not convinced that they've found a better way to to do role playing without um, numbers. So, just enlighten myself. Thanks, FDA. Yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, I'll. I mean, I, I brought it up. I may as well put put a like explain it. Acrylamide is a known carcinogen that you don't want in your food products, and there was a bit of a kerfuffle or a snafu, if you will, years back, when, um, is it Prop 34 from California? I forget what it, uh, I forget what it, it, which, which proposition it was, but basically California has this law saying, oh, if you have something that is a known carcinogen or a cancer causing, you know, whatever, you have to put, you know, this notification on the product. Um, and a couple of years ago, they they decided that coffee needed one of those notifications. It's like, this coffee can give you cancer, you know? It's like, what the hell are you talking about? There's what information, what research do you have available to you? And basically, it, the best way to put it was that it was an overreaction to the fact that very small trace amounts of acrylamide, which is a known carcinogen, is produced in the coffee roasting process. And that's, that's pretty much all that it is. It's like saying that you're, um, you're going to get radiation poisoning by walking outside into the sunlight. Um, sunlight is radiation, but it doesn't necessarily mean that walking out into it is going to give you cancer. You can if you get enough sunburns. <laughs> UVs are pretty nasty, but... I should know. I'm pretty pale. I burn. How have I not hit the yoke on this thing yet? In all honesty, I'm conflicted about what type of videos to make for Starfield, like, guides are simple and easy enough, relatively speaking, nothing spawns in the exact same location anymore with, uh, with this game. Frankly, as far as Starfield goes, in what I was hoping out of it and what I haven't received, is the contiguous world to explore. Contiguous, well, contiguous. Um, the, the, the contiguous world to explore. The fact that, like, you can get distracted when walking down a road because there's just something really cool near you. Um, you know, it's 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 like trying to get to um, trying to get to White Run, you know, in Skyrim, or trying to get to Diamond City in Fallout Four. It was so difficult to just focus on getting to that location because there was so much happening everywhere around you on the short trip to get there. And I think the, I think just not having that anymore is the most damaging thing to Bethesda's um, formula, you know? I think that that's the most damaging thing to Bethesda's formula, which is unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not saying that the game isn't fun. I'm not saying that I don't spend a good amount of time with it. 
Um, but the closer I get to that experience of like, oh no, I'm walking from location to location and I'm seeing things I haven't seen before. Um, that That is discovery. That is exploration. Um, and the only way that that happens is whenever I'm wandering around the cities, which God forbid I cannot figure out where I am in cities still. <laughs> It's amazing brew. I feel like nothing is complicated enough to warrant a guide. Well, one thing that I think is worth a guide is um and this is this is this is a key thing for me that I wish more video games would like lean on collectibles. Collectibles that have in-game reward. Okay? And in my experience, <clears throat> one of the better examples of collectibles or um, finding things in the world that change the value of other random objects is best represented in probably Fallout New Vegas, but Fallout 3 is a pretty good one as well. Um, Fallout 3 is less fine-tuned than Fallout New Vegas, but... Excuse me. In Fallout 3, is the pair of underwear still on the wall? Uh, the Yeah, it's, it's right there. The, the, the hundo that I got last, uh, that last Monday is still up there. Not that anybody's going to make me swap them today. Not from a hundo, anyway. Oh, oh yeah, there's that yolk. Don't worry, uh, Doomsday. My dirty little secret is still up on the wall. Shoot me a fiver and I'll take them down and I'll actually show them to the camera. I'm nothing if not a sellout. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm a huge proponent of object, like if you have a million objects in your game, finding out like one to two thirds of the way into your first playthrough, you find out that something that you thought was relatively worth, like worthless or relatively worthless is suddenly super, super valuable. Um, and with Fallout 3, for me, that was um, mole rat meat. Like, I, I really prefer to, like, pick up all of the food in the game and eat that instead of using stim packs and stuff like that. But mole rat meat combined with wonder glue, those two things. Those, like, you could eat the mole rat meat that you found in Fallout 3, and it gave you a little bit of health. But you could eat... But Wonder Glue, Wonder Glue, I think it was used in maybe one crafting recipe. And even then, it's like, okay, well, I've made the weapon. Why would I need any more now? So, it was possible to find some guy's uh, lair who was like, I figured out how to make mole rat meat not only really, really soft and um, delicate, but extremely tasty. And his method was to basically take a bunch of mole rat meat and slather it in wonder glue <laughs> and then seal it inside of a toolbox. And he eventually figured out how to make this little machine that would do it a lot more efficiently. And I don't remember where it was in the world, but like it was a machine 
inside of a dungeon, and if you knew that it was there, you could just load up on mole rat meat and wonder glue and go back there and make like a really, really hearty healing item. <laughs> and for me, I really like the food in games. I, what I prefer is for the food to be like something better than your like better than whatever passes for a red potion but only if you really tech into it so it's like okay the food is going to do a better healing you if you really stick with it you know and just i like seeing all of the food items and picking them all up and everything so wait is this in fallout 4 no no, no we're talking about fallout 3 fallout 3 specifically very different game very different theme you know I have not messed with unlockable food recipes in Starfield yet. Anyone know if it offers any gems like that? Thus far, as someone who loves food in video games and really likes just sticking to it, if food and cooking is utterly disappointing and worthless. Like, I haven't finished putting enough points into it because I haven't cooked enough food uh, and I haven't, like, eaten enough food or maybe I have. I think I've, I think I've maxed out one perk but not the other. Um, and it's not worth it. Like, you've, you've got to go pretty far for me to be like, oh, this was a mistake and I never should have done it. And it, I'm already like, this was a mistake, I never should have done it, but I'm here. I'm going to see it through to the end and find out what the hell is available to me. <clears throat> I just read that there's a straight-up Mothership Zeta reference in Fallout 4. Well, yeah, the same aliens from Mothership Zeta are in Fallout 4. They're just not an entire game contained to themselves. Wasn't Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 main story very similar? The motivations for your character were very similar. Um, and the concept of you're trying to change the wasteland was very similar, but <clears throat> your specific goal was quite different. Fallout 3 was about trying to figure out how to create <clears throat> infinite amounts of uh, pure water and who was going to be in control of it. Fallout 4 is about um, who's going to be responsible for rebuilding the, uh, the Commonwealth wasteland. That's strange. I've heard the opposite. There are a few recipes that give a decent XP buff. What I've seen, at, and, and again, I haven't like actually checked all of the, the perks. I, I should actually Ooh start la right now. My word! Hello! Thank you so much for that subscription there. Uh... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you for gifting a subscription there, Cooler, to Tyler Ooh and la. to... Uh, Tyler and Dragon Toast. Enjoy the subscription. Also, welcome, Cooler. How you doing? But... <clears throat> oh my god, another one. Doomsday just got a gifted sub. Man, Cooler, you're really coming through today. Thank you so very much. All right, you know what? <clears throat> I've got two skill points banked. Okay, so I still need to do some uh, some food and drink crafting here. I need to go back to the lodge. That's basically where I'm headed right now. So, hey, Dragon Toast. Uh, Tyler, uh, Doomsday, all of you, enjoy your uh, enjoy your, your subscriptions. And, and, you know, a big thanks to, uh, to Cooler for, uh, for gifting those out. Thank you so very much. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Great to have you along for the ride. Welcome to the stream and enjoy yourself while you're here. All right, where was the science tree? I haven't put enough into it. Okay. So...
We are gonna head out to Jameson, I believe it was. No, Alpha Centauri. Jemison, not Jameson. God. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> I should probably get some stuff into my inventory and out of the ship hold. I have a bunch of freaking resources I need out of my ship. Oh yeah, I found a mag pulse. Too bad it's not a uh, energy weapon. Too bad they've only got like three energy weapons in the game. Um, okay, what all here do I want to take into my inventory? Because a bunch of this stuff I'm going to need for, like, outpost building at some point. <clears throat> I'm going to take all of the manufactured stuff back to the lodge. Because everybody knows I'm going to need control rods and um, comms relays whenever I go back to the lodge. <clears throat> okay, I'm carrying two. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so... This is really um, <clears throat> what damages the Bethesda formula the most, I think. Um, oh, God! Oh, jeez! Phew! I have not been... Scared by a donation in so long. Ah. Thank you so much for the butt slaps. I I will read your uh, your donation after I deposit my inventory. <clears throat> Smell that? I would bottle that up if I could. Musty old books, a bit of motor oil, and history. <laughs> Have you seen a Terramorph yet? Yes! Yes, I have. I, I accidentally stumbled across a base where, like, some family was hiding out after doing some... After the father, like, did something bad. And, um... He, uh, he subsequently... Uh, the, like, there, there was this big banging that was going on. And I shut off whatever was making the noise, and, uh, I walked outside and there were Terramorphs everywhere. <clears throat> That's because my rent for October's month was zero dollars. And what was your favorite robot in all of Fallout 4 games? My favorite was uh, Fisto from New Vegas. Starfield uh, is Starfield also loot all the things that isn't nailed down to the floor? Yeah, I wish it was loot all the things that wasn't nailed down to the floor. Unfortunately, Starfield has too much en inventory troubles. Um, you do not have... You basically don't have infinite storage that's really easy to reach. So... They're basically space death claws. I looked at them and I was like, "Oh, it's the it's the Skyrim spiders." So, <clears throat> you know, there you go. Donation jump scare. Yes, it was a donation jump scare, and luckily there was no demanding or expectation with that fiver either. So. But man, cooler. You've uh, you've been very generous today. Like, and I understand the reasons for it. Uh, nonetheless, uh, thank you. 
so very, very much. Okay, so I need to cook five different things. Uh, what do we want to cook? <clears throat> I can make very heavy water. Orange, peach. I can actually use oranges and peaches in something? That's insane. The deep potatoes. Um, my god. Oh no, I, ha I have 25 potatoes. I only need one potato to make this. Alright. Lumberjack julep. Uh, damage resistance. That seems pretty good. It takes liquor, though. <laughs> Disastrous shipwreck. Five unique food or drink. Evidently, the drink that I made first didn't count. Okay. There's three. Okay, that didn't count for some stupid reason. There. Jeez. <clears throat> We'll go ahead and spend that other point on research, because I- I should have been dumping into research ages ago. No need to rush through getting that done, either. Sam, what the fuck are you doing there? Get away from my research station. Terramorphs can control NPCs. Oh! Did not know that! <clears throat> what are we missing? What are we missing? Beans and butter. Missing beans is one story. Missing butter is another. Okay, cool. So, I can't do any more research on food. And I don't have any perks in anything else, so... Time to just stash things. probably over encumbered myself by grabbing all of those ad adaptive frames. Oh, I haven't. Much to my surprise. <clears throat> okay. What do I have in my inventory that needs to go away for cooking purposes? Veal, turkey, steak, multi Salmon fillets. Whoops, I need to take that potato back out. Um, plum. There we go. Cheesecake! Yes, indeed, cheesecake. Willie, is cheesecake part of Starfield? I... is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. There's cubed red cheesecake. Oh, you're talking about chunks. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, there's chunks cheesecake.
<clears throat> Ooh la la. Technically, your infinite storage is dropping items on the floor of your ship. I was finding that dropping things on the floor of your ship actually still create, like, added... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting things mixed up. I thought that it added to the weight of your ship or your ship's inventory capacity. Maybe I'm forgetting... Maybe I'm getting things mixed up and... Putting a... Putting contraband on the floor of your ship does not mean that people can't scan the contraband in your ship. I think that's what I'm getting it mixed up with. Wait, wrong genre. Hello, Strife, William. Are you having a good day? 77 months. Oh my god, Ace. Thank you so much for the subscription. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Great to have you along for the ride. 77 months divided by 12. Wow. Man, that's uh, that's six years, five months. That's a long time. <clears throat> Twitch broke on web browsers, so I have to watch on my small phone screen with the occasional buffering. That's a shame, Eli. Whenever you're on a small screen, you can't see the small things that I show off on stream. Six years, five months. Wait, six years, five months? Yeah, six years, five months. That's what I just said. Man, that's a long time. Thanks so much for uh, for for being being part of all of this fun for as long as you have. We'll see whether or not I can chase you off yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll bore you to tears eventually. That's my goal. <laughs> my goal as a streamer is to literally just bore people so much that they they will leave me. They they will leave because I have I have figured out how to how to put them to sleep. And then I have an unexpected renaissance. It's the best sleep aid ever. <clears throat> you cannot get rid of me. Was there anything to show off to begin with? I mean, you guys know how to freaking find out whether or not I got anything to show off. Okay, so there's nothing for me to do here and there's a there's a main quest for me to do strife i wish i could drop a thousand i mean plenty of people wish they could drop a, a, a thousand yes the panties on the wall yes like always the panties on the wall and i stand by my statement earlier if you huck me a fiver and you specifically ask for it i'll take them down and i'll show them to the camera Alright, let's go ahead and, like, save. Because the last time I tried to talk to anybody in the lodge, th shit hit the fucking wall, man. Um. What can I say? I've got to do, I've got to do more economic offers these days because, uh, hundos for what's on the wall back there is, it's just never going to happen anymore. Except for where it happened on Monday, so... Don't tempt me, Willie. Well, what, 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 what is, what does my penis have to do with any of this? Am I, am I tempting your Willie? I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued trauma. Where'd you get that beautiful poop pair of panties? There's no poop up there. There's no poop up there. Okay, so, um. Hey. I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. Oh, right. You know, to bear it. I'll be there. I promise. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Wait for the service five days. Oh, is this something that I can literally miss? Oh right, Barrett died. Yeah, yeah, we hit a we hit a has suffered losses before. Although none quite so 
Like, I, I actually rolled the save back and I, I played it the other way where, um... It's basically, you get a choice. It's like, does Barrett die or does Sam die? And you get your decision. Plus 10 health. Look at that. Kind of ruins the look whenever uh, whenever I'm wearing the funny he uh, headpiece. You actually married Barrett? Now you see that <clears throat> there's a feature of video games that I just can't freaking be bothered to care about. Um. I just cannot bother to to marry people in video games. I I find it so on it like relationships with characters are so no thanks. Can't can't be bothered. So Well then, um... You can feel it, can't you? The lodge just feels empty. What was this other mission that I was supposed to do? Unity, return to Keeper Aquilus. Ah, okay. So, we can do that. I, I just... I, I want to try to not leave the planet as best as possible here. I know that I'm, like, it feels like I'm a good way into the main story, but I'm nowhere near the end of it, so... Also, Vasco married us. Since when did Vasco become an ordained minister or something along those lines? <clears throat> like... I have, I don't know, 700 plus hours in Skyrim collectively across all the versions of the game that I own. And I think I've never, I'm a ever... Of history. Well, I know that I've never, ever once married any NPC. Robots are naturally built to be ministers? I would argue otherwise. I think that... Robots are way better served as intimate relationship partners, but I uh, what, what I like I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life I'm not an expert, but like can't the ship captain marry two people not that Vasco is just confirming this that is true like What was it Barbosa married will and uh, Emily? Or no Elizabeth uh, Barbosa married Will and Elizabeth in, um, what you call it? Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So. Alright, let's talk about some very serious topics. Oh, chat, you're never gonna believe it. You're never gonna believe it. Okay, so, I have a link in chat, but Tev has decided to inform me of something. Ratchet has decided to sit on the back of the toilet and pull the towel off of the rack right above it, around him, to make a new fort. Ratchet is getting on the back of the toilet and pulling the towel down that he can reach from there to wrap himself up. This is interesting and unexpected. It's in here somewhere, I just have to find it. Man, you don't realize how much you talk with someone until you, uh... There you are! I knew that you were there! You don't realize how much you communicate with someone 
until you have to scroll back through your t uh, your your message history. Guys, guys, you're not gonna freaking believe it, okay? <laughs> Woo! Jeez. Cooler, what are you doing? What are you doing, Cooler? Your 700 hours in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim can't be beat. Uh, can't beat my 3,042 hours in Stardew Valley. 3,042 is... Uh, 126.75 day, uh, days. Also, I want to see the wall panties now, William. <laughs> Cooler, what do you... Why? Ah, good job, Ratchet. Every time I hear Ratchet, I all I still always think uh, of just the Lombax doing the thing. Ratchet wants the best seat to watch you guys poop. God, that's a, that's such a cat thing. Gotta love a good jump scare with money. Panties strife. Oh, you're too horny, but fine. These were the ultra comfy pair that I had pulled on for Monday, and then I got called out. You happy now? Honestly, I like these so- I like- I wish I could find something like this again, but they're just... They're basically defunct. What does Tev think of those? I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what she thinks of them. I asked that question over and over about a lot of the stuff I wear, and the answer is basically, it, it's usually, it's pretty much always positive, but it's, it's all, it, it all runs together at this point, you know? Payday 3 is a fucking disaster. Uh, that's what I've heard. I like, the Payday game, games are not something that I'm interested in at all never have been but man i've he i've heard some stories you're too horny i am i see your face okay you look a little blotchy basically we've had a lot of humidity i still mask whenever i leave the house um i'm concerned for my health so i still mask i've never stopped masking since the <clears throat> since 2020 um and unfortunately, when the humidity kicks up, a lot of moisture gets trapped inside of the mask, and it just wreaks havoc on my face right here. And like I'm, I'm trying to keep it under control. I'm using, um, I'm using a whole bunch of like uh, cream and um, and lotion and whatnot to try and do something about it. But there's only so much you can do about like having a mask on, rubbing up against your face with a lot with a high level of humidity so it's it's like you know i'm breathing out through my nose and my mouth and that creates additional um uh m moisture that just builds up and it, it it messes with my face so cream yes exactly cream all over my face you know large white globs of it Anyways, <laughs> God, <clears throat> I hope nobody clipped that. Guys, guess what I managed to find on Etsy? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Okay, let me switch back to the game for a brief moment here. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing, right? The running joke of this outfit. The neon dancers outfit. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this link in, in in chat. That link that I just put in chat, that's what I just found.
In fact, you know what? I might do something a little bit different here. Here, here. I'll show I'll show you guys who who are on mobile so you don't have to tab out or anything. Go ahead and Holy moly. Oh my word, I never adjusted this entire scene. That's fan that's a, that's amazing. But there you go. This is what I found. <laughs> this is the outfit. The rave dancer's outfit. <laughs> so we go from that. To this. Very close, right? Very close. Looks like somebody fell in an oil puddle. I think that that's kind of the part of the whole point. Let me go ahead and hop back here and shut that off. You, ne you, you never want to be caught where, where you can accidentally dis display your desktop to people. Otherwise, they get to find out about the strange, weird things that you do with spaghetti. <clears throat> Put a harness over it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've got like a bright, like, perp. I've got a purple bodysuit on the wish list right now, so that's a thing. Boyfriend says, I'd wear it besides the boots. Yeah, the boots are really freaking out of the ordinary. Like, you'd need to find some, like, s very unique, like, I don't know, slippers or something. To go with it. <clears throat> My dad wishes for a type of uh, pernod for his birthday, and that's a type of booze. Oh, well then. <laughs> that's uh, the Starfield version has a very Oompa Loompa vibe. Vibe. Does it? Is this really Oompa Loompa ish? But I put a um I put like a purple bodysuit on the wish list, which is way more like cost effective, way cheaper. And I was like, okay, I'll just combine that with uh with the sling kini. And if anybody buys it, then I'll I'll put those two things together. Then again, there's like this $120 dancer's bodysuit that I could always get. <clears throat> he says, galaxy purple flip-flops. Get it right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, lovely. How little are you allowed to wear on Twitch? Ah, uh, I think the type of outfit is strongly um, influenced by where you're located. I think you could get away with wearing a slingkini on Twitch if you were at a beach or something. So, not Willy Wonka and and the char uh, chocolate factory Oompa Loompas. Charlie being the deaf one. Yes, yes. Wait, you what? That's a good question. What did you do? I see nothing purchased. I see nothing purchased. All right. <clears throat> okay, I've 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 done enough uh, silly stuff with costumes and talking about those things. Let's actually play the game. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought?
I spoke with the with the Varun Zealot. She said Jinan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Well, the enlightened stories use the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Was there anything else? Well, in your story, the pilgrim contemplates, uh, contemplates infinitum addendum. That has to mean something. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. The next planet I find, I'm naming Dum Dum. What do you think? Well, I suppose that'll make someone laugh. Well, Indum, that's the name of a star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, You've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? It's just a word. I need to take responsibility for finding it, not pray. And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds the belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? It doesn't give me a license to define unity beforehand. So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective. A goal you're bound to reach. I know belief is kind of your job, but usually the scientific answer is the right answer. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go. Find your truth. That rule says no nipples on stream. Can we get away with pasties? That's a very good question. That's a very good question, and I don't know how much I want to flirt with that line. <clears throat> I will say this much, like, at this point, most of you guys probably know me well enough to understand that it's like, no, I, like, I, I don't have a problem with, like, showing off as much skin as people would be comfortable with seeing. Like, I, I've got, like, if it was acceptable and people were interested in it, I would, you know, I would be naked, you know? But I don't think that there's an audience for that, so there's no point to it. <clears throat> I really am mostly concerned with the uh, the vibe of the audience, as well as the rules set down for the platform that I'm working on. So, would I have a problem with wearing, you know, like Pikachu pasties? No, no, I wouldn't. Do I think that it's a particularly good idea? 
I, uh, no. I don't think that that's a particularly good idea either. So. I do not like that man's smile. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a little bit disconcerting. Think you play Baldur's Gate 3? I'd like to play Baldur's Gate 3, but um, it's not within my budget to pick it up. The next game that I have to worry about is... Um, Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you. What's... what was it? Um, Super Mario RPG, which is coming out soon. Pikachu pasties seem more like a shock value thing that it'd lose the novelty very quickly. Oh yes, absolutely. I can only imagine how painful it would it is to take pasties off as well. I've never worn them before. I forget, do you have an OnlyFans stream? <laughs> well, thank God you put the slash S there. Never would have figured it out otherwise. Um, while we're here, I'm gonna look around for the, uh, for CJs. I gotta find more potatoes. Like, there's this weird off, like, side mission where I gotta give someone 50 potatoes, and I'm just like, man, this is ridiculous. That's a lot of potatoes to get my hands on. Thanks for stopping by. Life in New Atlantis moves pretty fast. I'll do my best to keep up. I've got all your basics right here. Thank you so much for the cheer there, Tatsu. Hi, Strife. Having fun. I just finished episode 13 of Subnautica. Well, I hope that you enjoyed, because it was certainly uh, certainly an adventure making it happen. Buy all of the cola. They don't have... He doesn't have any boom pop licorice, though, which is unfortunate. Ooh, butter. I need more butter. That's why we, we we continue getting new pasties each week. <laughs> Chat, you are you are infinitely entertaining and also amazingly horny today. I didn't even have to poke you guys for this, and yet here we are thinking with the little head. And yes, you do have a little head. Even if you haven't any. <clears throat> you not have any potatoes? You fool, you have no potatoes. Never shopping here again. Thanks for stopping in. I can always use the business. I, uh... I enjoyed you originally playing through Subnautica, and I enjoyed the, uh, this time as well. Well, hey, that's fantastic. Is this how I got up over here? I think I think that um, the lodge is over here. Like, I just picked up a bunch of food. I'm going to go ahead and just put it back at the lodge. <clears throat> I follow Poe's Law, so that's why I will always use slash S. <laughs> oh, we... I'm sure, uh, Will, that you'd love to poke us or give us a little head. <laughs> listen, listen. You, you, Everybody's got a little bit of head, no matter if they've got an innie or an outie. The real challenge is figuring out how to, uh, how to suck on the innie. Because it, it, it's a different, it's a different game, okay? Here's it's just a very different Cora game. Has to home. Not bad, right? I'm getting very explicit. I'll go ahead and stop now. Don't change, chat. Don't change. <laughs> I like you just the way you are. Wait a minute, I got Boom Pop Cola. Can I just, like, jam that into one of the research designs here? So I gotta find more black rich, black licorice boom pop. Yeah, 
You might stop, but I suspect chat won't. <laughs> God. Okay, ten more minutes before I gotta get that uh, dough transferred to a different uh, container downstairs. Good morning to you, William Francis Strife the <laughs> Fourth. How are you doing today? My word. Chat is just the lutist. Wouldn't have it any other way. It's no fun if chat is like not lewd. Oh right, I have a bunch of like alcohol that I need to sell. Thank you so much for another cheer there, Tatsu. Since you mentioned uh, games you're planning to get, I plan on getting a, a new console for Christmas because there's so many new games I want to play, like the Deer Space remake. Uh, this game and many more. Deer Space? Uh, that does not sound familiar to me. And I put my freaking potato away when I shouldn't have. Fumbling my freaking menus constantly. There's supposed to be a Dead Space remake. Ah, Dead Space. Yes, yes. And uh, that was one of the better uh, one, of the, one of the better games this year, if I remember. A little bit of a shame that it, the best game of the year is more increasing with more increasing frequency. The best games of the year are just remakes. There we go. Those are the words that I meant to say. Create 50 food and drink items. Okay, so. Raisin butt. Some things never change. Raisin bran. Some things never change. Yeah, well, you gotta have that bran in your diet. It's important, you know. You can't be sexy if you're not pooping correctly. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for that one. I'm gonna get in so much trouble for that one. I was watching the VOD of your feminine side from Wednesday, and I just got the comment uh, you made when Tevila said a skull in one of the muddy scrap piles, and you called it uh, a burial dookie. Fantastic labeling. The longer I wa uh, the longer I I watch, the more I uh, I'm upset I missed. Well, you know, that's just the way it be sometimes. Not not fair. Not good. But that's just the way it be sometimes. How are you doing, my dear? You have not risen as much as I expected you to. Nowhere near as much as I expect you to. Then again, you're not, like, turbocharged by sitting on top of a, um... A hot-ass router. I think the router overheated the other day, and I had to, um... It had to, like, recycle and reboot and everything. So I, I don't think it's a good idea to, um... Put my dough on top of the router again. Nothing quite as sexy as a well flowing colon. But, but quite as sexy as a well flowing. God, butt spot. We need a PNG for butt spot. Which sucks because there's a children's book called Everybody Poops. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer there, Tatsu. God. Oh, we. How are my missions coming along? Four days. Okay, so if I just... Do another 24 here. Go ahead and hop downstairs and take care of my uh, the dough, my plate, and my coffee all at the same time. You know, there was one thing from Tev's Wednesday stream that I'm not sure has been done yet, and what would that be, Cortex? I don't know. I don't know if I said anything like untoward. Time flies when you're sitting on a comfy couch. Yeah, I guess it really does, doesn't it? Look at that. I'm I'm si I'm sitting on a comfy ass couch in the lounge in my skin tight dancer's outfit. <clears throat> I 
Okay, well, at the very least, one or two of, um... Did you remember to preheat the oven this time? Well, that's just it. I have to, I have to get the dough into the pan. And then I have to let it rise a second time, and then once the second rise is done, then I preheat the oven. So I'm not quite to the point where I forget to, to preheat the oven, okay? Don't worry, that comes later. An Italian Dracula accent redeem. Oh god, no! Shit. Now I'm imagining the Nickelodeon theme, but it's butt instead. <laughs> God. Well, two days have gone past. Hopefully, um, the store over here has got some produce that I can use. Maybe even some Boom Pop licorice. Come on in. Need something but don't have a lot of... Yeah, let's get you settled. Alright, we have more baguettes. I'm buying the baguettes. Uh, he just straight up does not sell boom pop licorice. Celery, cheddar, cheese. Oh, wait, butter. Butter. I'm always in need of more butter. Lemon, lettuce, lime, meal pack, oak. Potato. One potato? Give me a break, man. You should bake bread for King Charles. <sniffs> King Charles. He can hire a baker. I ain't baking bread for King Charles. <sniffs> I'm an American. Be seeing you. Like... The, the, the United States, the President of the United States, whoever has been in that office, never has attended the coronation ceremony for the, uh, for royalty, of, uh, for England royalty. And it's a long-standing rule, it's just like, yeah, you know, like, we used to, we used, to, like, we had to fight the crown, so we don't attend the coronation ceremonies. At all. So. <laughs> I know your type. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna come through on that uh, wonderful pastime, and I'm going to say, I don't think I'll bake bread for uh, British royalty. I don't think it's in my best interest. Not as an American. They don't show up for our presidential inauguration. Home sweet home. I would say that that those two things are not the same. The presidential inauguration and the coronation of royalty happen not at all as frequently as one another. <laughs> so... You can, you can totally respect the other, uh, another country uh, that you used to be fighting with and you used to, like, maybe even have to liberate yourself from. It's entirely possible to have a good working relationship, but there are some components of, um... Oh, I did it again. Butter. There are some things that you just shouldn't do, you know? Some things that you just shouldn't do that are entirely ceremonial. <clears throat> To be fair, Elizabeth II was one of the longest running monarchs. Wasn't she wasn't she like two years off of beating Louis the Fourth or something for the longest monarch in history? There we go, potato. I, re I remember there were a couple of, uh, there were a couple of memes that came out of that where it was like, Yep, she almost beat him! Almost beat the Frenchman! You know, the, the whole history between the English and the French. 
All right, there we go. In terrible Russian accent. You can now feed one whole village on one potato. <laughs> oh, God. Anybody support me for king? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe. I'm, I personally think people should support me on the dancer's poll, but that's just my uh, my personal posi uh, position, you know? I've yet to get enough tips to end up there, though. I'll legalize pot. That would be nice. Couldn't complain about that. The lodge. Ooh. Ooh la la. My word. Ooh Dragon. La la. Dragon Toast is gifted six tier one subs. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What do you mean a hive train is close? Ooh you stop that la. shit right now. <laughs> Big Bad Knight, Zata64, Wizen, uh, Night Fox, Quartz Nova, and Super Ooh Dad. La la. All of you. Get, uh, enjoy your subscriptions. Thank you so much. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Great to Ooh have you along la for the la. great to have you along for the ride. Woo! You say that, but Ooh there was probably you say that, but there was probably a point in history where the king or queen changed frequently. That is true. That is true. Woo! My word. Thank you so much for the cheer there, uh, Tatsu. A hundred bits. Someone give bits. Someone give butts. <laughs> Let us give butts today. <laughs> no hype train today, guys. No hype train today. I'm supposed to be stopping and taking care of my dough. And you guys are sitting here and you're, you're, you're just... No hype train. Okay? I have stuff to do. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to discourage this hype train. By coming over here and leaving you on an entirely silent be right back screen. Okay? Completely silent be right back screen. You're not going to hear from me. I'm going to go downstairs and get myself some coffee. I'm going to take care of this dough. And you're not going to start Ooh a hype la. train. Tatsu? Stop it. <laughs> Subscribe to tier 1 for 42 months. Oh my word. No hype train. No hype train. I will see all of you in a little bit. No hype train while I'm gone. You hear me? None of it. Chat. Chat. What the hell did I come back to? What have you done? I am unapproving of this. <laughs> what, what the hell, chat? I told you no hype train. I left with the specific purpose of discouraging any type of action like this. You do know that this is an unsanctioned hype train, right? <laughs> I swear. I swear to the stars that don't even make up that they have much of an interesting part of Starfield. What are you doing? Oh, for God's sake. Uh, I... I... Mm. Why? <laughs> God damn it. Unsanctioned makes it better. Unsanctioned in my pants is what it is. Ugh. All right. What are we what are we looking at here? Anyone have 100 bits? All right, lads, let's go. Cheer. I do not have bits. Broke ass. 100 uh 100 100. Got you, boo. Oh my god. Tatsu with a thousand. Tatsu with a hundred, Ace with a hundred, Tatsu with a thousand. I think Will needs to try telling us to do the opposite when he comes to a hype train. Uh, when it comes to a hype train, he says no, but the hype train starts. <laughs> Strife will be frustrated. Uh, he can be moneyed two hundred bits. I mean, he does keep saying no one will donate a hundo. <laughs> That's because nobody will. Ah, oh, jeez, you finished the ah. Uh... A hundred bits from Basilis. Here we go, Strife. Me and Ace got it. Hundred bits. Yes, more bits. One hundred bits. Ruit Strife. What's the max level for hype trains? 
just to start level four. Level four completed. Oh, we're at 70% of a level five. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Will, since tomorrow is October, are you going to do another donate, uh, donate solution point thing for a Halloween stream? You're right. You're right. I do need to do a donate solution Halloween point stream. Another 300 from Ace. Jeez. There's... There isn't one. There isn't one anymore. It used to do extra percentage at level five, but I've seen it go up over twenty now. Wow! I didn't know that they changed that. I don't have a hundo. Maybe I do have a twenty. <laughs> Thank you for another two hundred bits. To another two hundred after that. Magic. We did nothing. Hundred bits. Hi, Will. Two hundred bits. Pointing at the butt. You came back to your denial. <laughs> One uh, one thousand bits. Holy crap! Hype trains are only sanctioned by chat. Oh, hey, wait! I should probably have my face on. Um, keep it up, chat. The pants are not unsanctioned until Hundo drops. <laughs> well, you know how to make me drop my panties. Jokes on you. I think it's funny. Okay, here you go then, Strife. Twenty two hundred bits. What? Kaya, one hundred five stars for Uber Stream. <laughs> you tempt fate, Strife. All right, all right. You guys have had your fun. You can stop. We've gotten to 75 uh, 70 percent of a level five. That's more than enough. That's more than you should be giving. Don't lie to me, chat. I know the economy, the type of economy that we're in. If you can't for afford a hundo, you can't afford a hype stream. I know how this works. <clears throat> My pants are too fancy for you guys to see. You hear me? Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Ah, jeez, no, Cortex. Le bits, dude. You're lucky I've run out of bits. <laughs> oh, we. Oui. I'll jingle your bits. I'll just, you know. Of course it's got to be okay, but I'll still, I'll, I'll just reach over and just. Firm. Squishy at the same time. Hmm. Congrats. These are some impressive bits here. Ooh. Oh, dear. Something downstairs. Something seems to be getting hard. Um, <laughs> I could afford a hundo, but I'm trying to increase my balance. I am never telling you guys to be irresponsible with your money. Also, Cortex redeemed accent. My God. Why do you have this need to turn my head? Ooh, la, la. Oh, my God. Doomsday just gifted a tier one sub to the community. Oh no, we finished level five. No, God, you were supposed to stop. We had the minute or so. Uh, gifted a tier one sub to the community. Sawtooth, enjoy it. My dividend payout for investments only equ equals to $1, so I got nothing. Well, shit. Cortex, thank you so much for a hundred, uh, uh, for 300 bits. You know what time it is? It's time for Italian Dracula. Oh, no. Ah, oh, God. I have bits, though. Disc, don't do this. No. Yes, level six. I actually have more bits still. 300. And another 300 to go with. Oh, man. Now I'm out of bits. Great, great. You're out of bits. There's four minutes. We're at 21%. That's as high as we get. We don't have to go past a level six, okay? We stop there. Now I'm out of bits. Oh, man. Well, um, just don't be surprised whenever you look down and you open up your underwear, you know? Yeah, whenever you're like, what happened? Well, you just said you're out of bits. You're out of bits. That's how it works. <laughs> got an hour and a half before the uh the bread that i've got on here needs to uh, go into the oven man no wonder i never get anything done with the game you guys just keep on messing around with me at this point will you better you're better off just turning off the stream and waiting for everyone to calm down <laughs> in before someone with a couple thousand bits drops in from out of nowhere i spent almost 5600 bits i plan to have uh i plan to have for the month wow I would be ecstatic if this was how it happened. 
God, if that was how it happened. Listen, nobody's going to come in out of nowhere and drop a whole bunch of bits. Nobody will ever come in and drop a hun. Well, someone comes in and drops a hundo every once in a great while. It's not happening today. Moreover, no one will ever drop a thousand, okay? That's just something that does not happen. Will walks away from the stream and we hit level 10. I would love to check my panties and have my bits be gone. <laughs> But come on, having bits in your panties is the best part of having bits and panties at the same time. It's so sensuous and slick. Unless you're wearing cotton, then there's nothing slick about that. It's just soft. <clears throat> I just gave you a hundred dollars in bits, Strife. Not saying that that's not true, but... Shush, shush. Someone told me that tier 1 subs are worth 1 point, tier 2s are 2, and tier 3s are 6. Holy crap! As a trans girl, I'd really rather not have my bits. Well, to each their own, I don't understand the feeling that you have. But to each their own. Well, the bits cost $100. Oh, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, cool. I understand. Also, Disc, I didn't know that you were trans. I completely... Even if I've heard it before, I didn't know. I don't commit so many things to memory. Who dares be generous? No, 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 no. Nobody, nobody's being generous up in here, okay? People are being... Sounds gay. I'm in. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, we. One minute and counting. Yes, we're not, we're not going past level six, you hear me? Nobody's coming in to do anything and make us get to level seven, okay? My penis cannot get any more erect than it already is. Wait, what did I say? Um, how dare you be supportive? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. It's come up a time or two, but it's been some time. I mean, you guys are just, like, very vague. I don't even have, like, I've got the most vague of ideas of what to go off of for what anybody looks like or represents themselves or anything like that. Oh my god, all of that bread that I've been eating at my desk every single morning has finally piled up and I'm, like, brushing it off. I'm like sweeping it right now. This is what I'm doing. This is your hype stream, guys. This is your hype train. Hype train su success. gonna sweep these crumbs up off the table and act like I didn't see anything. Don't make me pour my next 5,500 bits straight into your lap strife. God. Boyfriend says, I'm sure I could get it more erect. <laughs> <laughs> God. I hope you have clean, uh, uh, have on clean undies, Strife. Wait. <laughs> God. The silence is loud, Will. See what happens when you keep telling chat no? Basilisk, my hero. <laughs> did you drop a hundo? Yes. All right, what the hell did you... I shall end the train with this. Man, Basilisk, you... What are you doing to me here? I'm wearing a matching set today. Now I won't match. This is disconcerting. When the top and the bottom pieces match, everything works out perfectly. It's like making, it's like getting your karma straight. It's like having a good luck charm on. And now that has to be broken and dispelled because I don't have another pair inside of the office to wear. So I have to put those back on. Here's all my hype emotes. <laughs> I 
That's a lot of hype emotes. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. I only did what I thought would be a great end to the hype train. When the top and the bottoms match, you know you're going to get some tonight. You can put, put both parts on the wall. Yeah, but this hanger doesn't, like... It doesn't really lend itself to that, you know? Also, for those of you who are interested, this is what was up on the wall because there was a hundo on Monday. Really wish I could find another pair like this. We're showing off hype emotes. God. Ugh. All right, I'll take a moment here, guys. But if you really want to see the whole set, you got to tell me in chat. Just because we finished the freaking hype train, I will wait for you guys to tell me yes or no. I'm not, just, just say yes or no in chat. Oh, we. All right. All right. What have we got here? The whole set, please. Yes, yes, yes. So we got three yeses. Four, I guess, with uh, with no nose. <clears throat> Buttspot wants to join in. Yes, Buttbot Buttspot does want to join in. What fancy fancy pants times! In more ways than one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> How on earth am I gonna make this work? This isn't designed to hold a top piece on it. All right, all done, all done. We can get back to the game, right? Nothing else to see here. Nothing else to see here. Thanks for the hundo. Thanks for the thanks for the hype train chat. That was wonderful. Why are they not on the wall for our viewing pleasure, Strife? William, you are welcome, Strife. Keep up the good work on and off stream. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Still, uh, fast, uh. Fastening to the hanger, got it. Oh, still fastening them to the hanger, got it. Well. Are you happy now, chat? I was dressed to impress today. And I had no earthly idea that things would go the way that they did. Will, the ass that was in those panties was out of this world. <laughs> and now everyone will see how impressive they are. Life is full of surprises. So what are you wearing now? I'm literally wearing what was on the wall. So, yeah. I took, I took what was on the wall down and put that on because I wore that for a total of like, what, 30 minutes on Monday? And it was like, eh, it's probably still clean enough. So yeah, there you go. Don't know how to not have this be lopsided, but a nice, pretty purple set with stars. So, chat, be honest. This is one of my nicer sets. Give me a rating. You know, one to ten. Ten being great, one being bad. Maybe five star. No, let's stick with ten star.
should probably just do a freaking photo shoot in this set. Ten, ten, eight point five, nine. Ten. Purple is always a winner. Plus, the satiny smoothness is always preferred preferred over lace for me personally. <laughs> I'm a sucker for cosmic themes. I mean, super, super convenient. I mean. I think I've got one other set. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot of sets. 19 out of 10. I'm certain you can imagine me wearing it. I mean, it's a little bit like... Man, I'm just like not going to play Starfield at all today. <laughs> That's how things are going to go. Um... One ten, no one ten, no skin marks. <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a pair specifically to troll you guys whenever you do it, and I'm you you won't see it coming. The shade of color was nice. Well, I'm ha I'm happy that like something from my personal collection that I bought for my own interest and my own um, self esteem uh, is is pleasant for you guys to see. I don't have a problem with sharing that side of myself with you guys. So, yeah, you know. <clears throat> I am who I am. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm happy to share it with you guys, but I also don't want to... Uh, I don't want to be untoward, inappropriate, and uh, not share things that you guys aren't going to be, like, going crazy for. And today is definitely a day where you guys are going crazy. So... <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the next thing that I need to do is figure out how to get it, uh, more sets in, you know? Because it's possible for me to get more sets in. Honestly, like, part of me wants to do a floral set, something very classic. Then, of, co then of course, there's also the cherry set that I have. Oh, you guys, do, you, you guys haven't even seen a single part of the cherry set. All right, anyway. Um... Cortex Kid redeemed accent, and it's supposed to be Italian, uh, Italian Dracula. I'm gonna get to your accent, Cortex, very soon. I promise I will. What I need to do right now is, um, I need to do this little sequence here where I go to... It's Barrett's memorial, okay? Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. All right, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna say it. Barrett didn't just die. He was murdered. Barrett knew the dangers we faced better than anyone. If he was here, he would tell us to keep going, to never stop. And I will do everything to honor his memory. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something,
speak with everyone. I thought maybe I would come up with something to say, but I've got nothing. So instead, I thought I would quote something that gave me comfort a long time ago. Is God real? The more proper question would be, is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence is what was imagined by its mind, but what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um, thank you. That was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? Where the hell is Sam? I don't often speak about what I believe in. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death is one of those occasions where it's hard not to look at one. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for me. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. The pain of loss inspires us to greater action than that is the good that comes from it. Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. However, I know Barrett would have appreciated the sentiment. Where did Sam bugger off to? I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done. It's not much. I could have done more to help you. No, it's fine. I, uh... I... Sorry, if I talk any longer I'm gonna start crying. Um, could you excuse me? Hey, how are you holding up? Don't feel anything, really. That's understandable. People often feel numb after a shock, even days later. Just don't push yourself, okay? 
We all need to take time for ourselves, especially now. We'll get through this. It might feel like everything's falling apart, but that's why we need to stick together. You don't need to be strong for everyone, Sarah. You can grieve too. We all have to get through this our own way. Don't worry about me. Really, I'll be fine. Chat for a bit? Normally, I hate talking to people at funerals, but, well. Guess it wouldn't kill me. Sorry. Bad joke. You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... <sighs> don't know. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Yes. Won't we all? Well, I've taken up enough of your time. It almost feels wrong to be grieving. Selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. Well, funerals are more for the living. Isn't that it? Yes. We don't have a way of knowing whether we really touch the departed with our grief. We just have to have faith. And you know it's okay to grieve. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. I don't believe we've met. Ajay Mamasa, former chair of Constellation. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. <sighs> Sorry if the uh, lodge is a mess. It's been through a lot. Yes, I'm sure I understand. Unfortunately, this isn't the first constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. I was the one who invited Barrett to join. Oh, he was so brilliant. Even if the rest of us couldn't always keep up. <laughs> you were the chair before Sarah. Oh, yes. I was Sebastian Bench's protege. If that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. You knew Sebastian Banks? Knew him, argued with him, tried to carry on his memory when he vanished. Sebastian will be back tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here, in the bones of this old building. So were you and Barrett close? Ah, yes. I officiated his wedding. Ah. Young Irvin. I told him he was signing up for a lot with Barrett, but he didn't care. I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? We're more of a family than an organization. All the formal lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it. Anyway. Oh, wait. Barrett was... married? He never mentioned that. I suppose he didn't want to talk about it after what happened. The colony board took so much from us all. What was he like back then? Exactly the same as when you met him, I bet. All smiles. Saying just the wrong thing at just the right time. You don't mentor someone like Barrett as much as you let him go and try to contain the damage later, eh? <laughs> uh, well then. Hello, Lying. How are you doing? I am told 
These types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. Uh, do you... I mean, can you even feel emotions, Vasco? No, I don't. I'm programmed to analyze sensory and biometric data so I can cross-reference. But I do not feel as you seem to imply. Well, you are right. He's... It's sad. I appreciate you verifying my analysis. Although, I am certain my thanks will do little to improve your current psychological trauma. If you would like, though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. I'm gonna say yes, just to hear how bad this is going to be. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? Strangely helpful. I will note that feedback for later. Where's Sam? So, look, I'm literally the last person that should be talking to a kid about death, but here I am. Is talking supposed to make us all feel better? Is that why we're all here? No, but if we drift apart now, we won't be able to help each other. What's the point? It's not going to change anything. No, there's no changing what happened. But we have to keep living. Every day is going to be worse now. Don't you get that? I... want to be alone for a while, okay? The silence of sand? What is up with that shirt? Drink? Pour one out to the blackest sea? Uh, no drinks. You can give me I, I round of the void. Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space to the great beyond. To the future and the end. Aye. Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. What do you mean? After the shock of what happened faded, I have felt nothing else. Just a numbness. You're in mourning too, in your own way. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. Well, you're making perfect sense, Andresia. There's no right way to feel. Thank you. Sam? Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? Well, you're brooding again, Sam. Although this time, right, although right place, right time. The... I guess it's good to be in fashion. You know, there's an old Aquila story 
about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not gonna make it, he turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you than walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? It's okay to admit you're sad, Sam. You don't need a story. Yeah, you got me. I hate funerals. Well then. Can I talk with everyone? Evidently not. So I spoke with Vlad, I spoke with Sam. Did Who the fuck did I miss? Hello? If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Oh my god. Freaking science jokes. Man, the lodge is a nice place. Where's the, I'm gonna kill them, I'm gonna kill them all, anger. Well, I mean, some people have, like, an actual interesting and complex, uh, emotional response instead of only feeling what Hollywood indicated that you can feel, which is anger. Hey, Barrett, it's me. I miss you. Wish this hadn't happened. See you out there in the stars. All right, cool. This is this is an interesting one, okay? Because like I can totally see myself doing this for like a playthrough on YouTube or something. And god, I'm I understand more thoroughly about what it takes to get into the emotional state to do the acting for a sequence like that. And man, oh. I'm I'm If if I if I do a Starfield series on YouTube where I just role play the whole thing, I can see myself really just that's gonna be a that, that's gonna be a very difficult and racking experience for me. At least voice acting won't be an issue for you when you do this. I mean, I, t I take pride in the fact that I can do these things, you know. <laughs> All right, so. Uh... Also, seriously, you wore that to his funeral? Listen, listen. If I didn't wear this hey, outfit to his something? funeral... If I didn't wear the outfit to his funeral, then I wasn't being my authentic self. I wouldn't have been the guy that he knew when he lived. I wasn't about to fuck that up. Can I actually take Barrett's outfit out of my inventory? I don't want to accidentally freaking sell it. P. 
people deal with grief differently. At least voice acting won't be an issue for you when you do this. Also, seriously, you wore that to his funeral. It is what Barrett would have wanted. Alright, so, hey, how you doing, Lying? Not bad. Wild day yesterday, and I've done a bunch of slime farm optimizing today. So, how exactly do you make a slime farm in um, Minecraft? Because I've, I've looked into it once, but it's been a very long time since, uh, since I did so. So, I don't actually remember how exactly you go about, um, building a slime farm. Did you buy a house yet? I have not bought a house in this game. I mean, I was kind of suspicious because I, I remember seeing, like, a, a locked key only, um, house, you know? In, uh, Aquila City. Personally, of all the places that you can live, uh, of all the cities I've been to so far, Aquila is, like, by far the best, in my opinion. I think it's the most in interesting. Endum 2. Okay, so... Anything I can do for you? Yeah, uh, we... Okay, so... The most tedious option is to find a slime chunk, proof everything around it, then place the iron golems to lure them into a uh, catchment area. What I'm doing this season is using a swamp and using... and just preventing anything else from spawning. Slimes and swamps will spawn in light level 0 to 7, everything else only 0. That's actually a really good idea. I currently lived in the well and in New Atlantis. Search for clues on unity. How the fucking hell are you supposed to search for clues on unity? It's all fine. I'm just... Oh, okay. I thought I thought I had reached the destination. I wasn't paying close enough attention. And Twitch broke again. Let's sigh. That's no bueno, man. That is no bueno indeed. Well, for those of you who just showed up, hello, Jiggleham. Oh my god, Cortex. <clears throat> Cortex, you're freaking... Ah, I forgot about it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Bleh, oh, mamma mia, what am I going to do now? Are you still here? Cortex? I hope you are, because I'm finally coming through on what I said I would do. Look at this, it is the pilgrim's rest. 
Oh, burn my cannoli. What am I going to do now? It looks like one. This is one a toasty lasagna. The Pilgrim's Writings, Volume 2. This place has been abandoned for some time. Look at this. I was wondering about the Italian Dracula voice. Yes! It took me forever. And I think that Cortex is no longer here. Which makes me... Rather... You might say that I failed to follow through on the, uh... Let me actually check. Yes? Yes. Cortex did not get their accent because they're no longer here. How unfortunate. I'm going to leave these records for later. Do not worry. Everything will be fine. We'll have some spaghetti. Nice, nice thick noodles of spaghetti. Unless you're pref unless you have preference for angel hair. Maybe some fettuccine. Surprised that anything at all is still running here. Access the locked room and search for clues. I can do this. It looks like a padded room and the ravings of a madman inside. Look at that. A fancy compass. That is mine now. Feel the heat. Holy cannoli, look at what I'm dealing with here. Singe my pizza. This place is absolutely full of interesting things to interact with. A molecular sleeve. Lots of tape. Cylind cylindrical glasses. Decks of cards. Not messing with that for the, the moment. I get into the refrigerator. Oh, the door does work. To my surprise, this isn't the fridge. This is the bathroom. Mamma mia! What have I done? I've made significant mistakes. Let's continue to use the scanner outside to make certain that I'm not missing any sort of. Little pizza bites sitting around out here that need to be taken. Yes? What kind of sauce? Ah, oh, spaghetti sauce only. No white sauce. No white sauce in this house. It's not Italian enough. Perfect. Truly and utterly interesting. What a beautiful and wonderful time to be alive. Keep thinking that I've maybe forgotten something and it just appears to not be the case. Alright, so there's five minutes of uh, the accent. Writings number three. Writing number four. Let's try to find all of these writings and read them in order. 
Writing number two. The credulous simplicity of mundane humans uh, of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them. But I remember that I am privy to that which they are not. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision when I know well the the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself, after all. I hope for their sake that they may someday understand. But for my sake, I wish to be left alone. So there's number one. Pilgrim's writing. So here is the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance. I need workers. I need hands. As the as we work together, we in, inevitably ask questions, and I can never help talking. It starts innocent enough. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine, or they have their own misunderstanding, misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try, gently as I might, to nudge them their minds in the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be uh, so much easier if I didn't. Today, in a soft voice, my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity. It was all I could do to keep from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question. It was asked honestly, and I answered as best I could, but if even my closest confidant hears, here can fail to grasp the most basic of these truths, why am I bothering to explain any of it to the... Uh, why am I bothering to, to explain any of it to any of them? Every word that drops from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard, misremembered, misunderstood, and, the, and mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. People are necessary, but people are madness. I attempted to withdraw, to go off alone, to commune with unity in my own way. They followed. Of course, they followed. At last, a bit of peace. A pi uh, pi a piece of peace. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? How have they driven me mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself and talking to myself? The former uh, certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own and that even if only it exists, that is sufficient for me to believe in everything else. The unity has restored me once more. This time, I act alone. For now. Myself is a f myself is a formidable opponent. I should have expected as much, but vanity is, thankfully, not among my vices, regardless. It turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man, or whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. So, communication issues. Pilgrim's Writing 6. I find myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. I imagine con continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. I imagine passing through once more to another world to begin the process anew. What is notable here? The road does seem grat- What is notable here? That the- that the road does seem gratifying. Every step is one of the intrinsic reward, and I feel myself anticipating the- uh, the pleasures and seeing more con uh, contented version of myself in the future. Then, for the sake of considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeing, seeking to gather my my own power, if I instead embrace the twinnings of comparison, of compassion. I feel in my heart and let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me whenever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died. That road also seems gratifying. I also see a, co 
contested version of myself in that future. Here is the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endure. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Okay, this is a little bit more cryptic. Cryptic. For the sake of co uh, considering all possibilities, I imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embraced the twinnings of compassion, uh, the, the twinges, twinges of compassion, I feel in my heart, and let myself care for the people who seem to gather around me whenever, whenever I try to work, if I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died. That road also seems gratifying. It all, I also see a contented version of myself in that future. Here's the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. So, gathering power is more valuable. I don't know what the difference signifies, but I'm grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Okay, then. If you came seeking the right answers, you will not you will know what question to ask. What is what is the unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my writings, what is the burden of people? People are necessary, but people are madness. Who is your most formidable opponent? Myself. Who does enduring con uh where does enduring contentment come from? In growing, becoming better, stronger. That is an answer, but it is not my answer. Find my writings, read them closely. What the? I did fucking read them! Oh, okay. Enduring contentment, where does that come from? Okay, I clearly mis misread those that writing. In stopping, embracing compassion. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still wish to find it, there is one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my own answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope your journey gives you truth. Okay, let's make an actual full proper save here. You can forget those funky religious texts you got there. Why did you jam a box cutter into your air purifier? That's such an irresponsible thing to do. So, let me whip out my notes. Got to take some notes here. I think you got that last one wrong. No, never. Um, Starfield, magazines.
Okay, so trackers, primer, zero, two. Ballistic damage plus five percent. Where are we? We are at Indum. Where it what's uh, Pilgrim's Rest? Taking my notes. Cool. There we go. <clears throat> Pilgrim's final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here, in this world, in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. I won't... It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. I can be... It can be something beneficial. I can be something... I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. On Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting holds the truth. Scorpion sting holds, holds the truth on Hyla 2. What on earth? Hey, oh what's my going word. on? Uh, Dragon Toast. <laughs> my mistake. I didn't notice that you uh, that you redeemed. Say, uh, 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 uh show mug. There we go. Show mug. <clears throat> There you go. Some fancy pantsy show mug. The number one robot fucker 100% certified. Wouldn't have it any other way, right? Oh, we. Chat, it's gotten it's gotten a lot less active in here since uh since the hype train. <laughs> I'm not used to things getting quiet. Okay. Let's set our course. Wow, that's a long way to go. Should we start another hype train then? You couldn't start another hype train if you... Well, you could start another hype train if you wanted to. You would, it wouldn't get anywhere. I am not doing another hundo. <laughs> no one ever said that you should have done the first one.
That being said, thank you for the fur. Uh, thank you for the hundo earlier. Yep, same. Just listening. I never, I never want anyone who comes to my streams to, to think that I ha that you have to pay me money or anything. Like it is greatly appreciated, but like I'm not, I'm, I, I do this for a living, but that does not necessarily mean that I want people to think that they have to pay me. Okay, yep, you're gonna cause me trouble. Besides, if anybody was, if anyone else was to drop a hundo today, hundo today, they wouldn't really get anything from it. They would basically get a token to be able to make me do something embarrassing later. Oh the fuck, town, bro! I'm just freaking scanning ya. Ooh. Ah, jeez, give me a break. We all know how much Will hates to have tokens floating over his head. Yes! There are quite a few of them. While true, I did not have to. The look on your face afterwards was just perfect. Also, your content is worth more than what I uh, regularly, do regularly donate. So, take the hundo. Take the hundo and get a nice lunch for you, Tevin Ratchet. <laughs> The only thing really missing from my experience is, um... I'm gonna get some sort of an infection, man. Holy fucking shit, man. What is going on? Suit protection depleted. I... What do I do to freaking help myself here? I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Oh, I... I drowned. I drowned. The fucking hell? Game? You drowned? Are you serious? That's the only thing I can come up with. It's like my suit protection didn't work, and it's like, what the fuck was I supposed to do? Yeah, I was about to say, you could have landed there. How the hell was I supposed to land there? Like, I literally just, like, set the ship down where the freaking marker... It's not like it lets me choose the location. Woo. Yeah, it looks like there's a landing site there. Why the fuck doesn't it let, like, why did, why did the ship not land there? Gotta wait until these things stop following me. If it didn't, maybe a glitch? Like, the, the, the ship... Like, the, the ship never lands next to where my, the location that I'm headed for. It's always like, uh, yeah, we'll just sit you down somewhere. Every time you pass through those animals, sounds like you're starting a speeder bike chase from on the forest moon of Endor. Which is freaking crazy because there's no forest here. This motherfucker will not stop chasing me.
All right, we'll go back to the ship. We'll take off, and we'll land again and see if the game likes it wants to be nice. look like the island. This does not look like the island. It fucking put me down in the same spot. Motherfucker, how am I supposed to reach the spot? Chat, this is a f this is fucking bullshit. This is utter fucking bullshit. <laughs> I I I literally cannot advance the story because I can't get across the water. What is this fucking bullshit? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Is there an underwater suit upgrade? I mean... Let's let's see what the the stats are. Jump pack? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't invest in jump pack. Do I have do, do I have to suspend uh, going after the main quest for like 18 hours now so that I can get enough fucking perk points to upgrade my jump pack ability that I don't even want? Oh, I'm not angry at you. I'm fucking complete I'm I'm screaming at the game right now basically. Um thermal airborne radiation and corrosion. There's no microbial resistance on this. Go around to the point where you don't have to swim far. I joined during salt. Thank you for the sodium strife. <laughs> I don't even know what the closest point is, man. Like, would going around to the far side of the lake mean that I would be might be able to swim over to that side? I I That's a long way to run, but I guess. He's making our popcorn better. Well, chat, you certainly paid for it earlier today. You slipped so many coins into my little pouch and a bunch of uh, and a bunch of dollars into the bikini strings at the same time. Luckily, you never tugged at the uh, the the strings that tie on the sides. That's what most people don't know. I'm wearing a bikini bottom where the the sides of it are just tied with a couple of bows. One uh, one taut tug, and all of a sudden. I'm all, I'm exposed. I'm going, ah, and like trying to cover up. It's a lead deposit. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, Tev. I got a, I got a hype train earlier today. Um, this is what happened. Well, you'll, you'll understand it whenever you get there. But, um. Kind of surprised they didn't think this through when they uh, designed it. I mean, look at it. There's an entire fucking spot where you're clearly supposed to land your ship, and it just won't for some stupid fucking reason. So the way that it worked was um, it was time for me to um, get the... Uh, Don't 
face me. You don't want to fucking follow me. You don't want to fight me. Are there any other vehicles in this game? None. Not a one. You run everywhere and that's it. Just your ship. You cannot pilot your ship. The only time that you can actually move and pilot your ship is whenever you're in space. <clears throat> there are a few short, worthy clips. But yes, I, uh, I was in the middle of um, needing to take the dough downstairs and transfer it to the other pan. And that, Tev... That is when chat decided that it was to, like, I told them, listen, chat decided to start a hype train. Chat started a hype train, and I was like, all right, you know what? No, we're not doing this. I'm, I'm going to go and get myself some coffee, and I'm going to put this dough into a different pan, and we're not doing a hype train. And I, um, I put it out to the BRB screen. And, um, went downstairs and I came back to a level 4 hype train. And then, once it was all done, once the entire freaking thing was done, Basilis decided to come around and drop a hundo when the hype train was finished. You're on my shit list now, <laughs> Basilis. You made me take off a... a, a fantastic matching set you know it's like I had that thing on I was, I was matching I had good freaking vibes going and then all of a sudden look at what that look at where that got me got me a hundred dollars well more than a hundred dollars but still I don't think that this gap is any shorter than the other gap that I was looking at on the other side of the lake I'm so proud chat gold star for you <laughs> You want some vengeance strife? Yeah, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a lap dance, and you're gonna be so incredibly uncomfortable with it because the, you didn't ask for one. That that will be my vengeance. I feel vindicated. <laughs> you're not the one getting the lap dance. I look forward to it. God damn it. Don't make it backfire on me. Alright, I've quick saved. Let's see if I can actually get across this before dying. This isn't. Nope. Oh, oh, I can actually sprint. I didn't know that the sprint button worked on this. Okay, okay, I think I'm, uh, I'm almost there. Shit. <laughs> I didn't know that my pack was going. I love Starfield so much. It's depositing me right where, um... It, it refuses to land me where I can get to the, the landmark that I'm after. Alright. Okay, I have to do things the fucking hard way. Personal at- okay, yes, I have the personal atmosphere already equipped. Alright. Alright, don't worry, I'm ready with my dragon shout.
God. No. Bethesda did a great job. Bethesda did such a fucking great job with this game, chat. What the fuck is this? Why would you do shit this way? God, talk about fucking stupid shit. Look at the, like, I, they, like, this is what I'm looking for. This thing right over here. Look at this shit. Look, right the fuck over here. Just run right to this spot. Okay, we'll just avoid that stingy dude. Just look, look, it, they've designed a fucking place for your ship to land, and it just, it's like, oh, what's that, a big old freaking flat area where you can set your ship down? Fuck that shit, we're gonna land on the mountaintop over... There. Oh, we're gonna land on the mountaintop instead of right here, where the game is supposed to be setting you down. Jesus fucking Christ. God, Starfield, give me a goddamn break. Bethesda, fucking get your shit together. Why is that easier than swimming? Because Bethesda didn't know what the fuck it was trying to make with this game. They've lost their secret sauce with this game. I'm not saying that the, the systems independently work just fine. Okay. They're not attacking me. Interesting. The systems in, in, in this game work perfectly fine independent of one another, but once you start making them work in the same place, all of a the sudden they start fighting each other and fucking you around. Ugh. Okay, what's this? A glyph. Seriously? You're gonna, like, this is a star map? I'm gonna have to follow all of these stars? And then I'm gonna have to do that whole freaking fucky wucky thing to get back here again. Oh, God. Time for round two. Surrender or be destroyed. I yield, Constellation. <laughs> you should come aboard. There's another Starborn here who is very interested in meeting you. I can speak for myself. Constellation ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want.
I have no reason to trust the Starborn. Any Starborn, for that matter. I told you I would leave you alone, and I did it. Don't make me regret that decision. You killed one of their own. They have good reason to feel threatened. All of us should feel threatened by each other. That comes with the territory. The question is, whether you take the risk and talk to us, or you can run away and bask in the dark. No choice. Well then, how, uh, how interesting. Let's go ahead and save here. I thought you were going to get a star soul. <laughs> All right, chat, listen. <clears throat> I got to go preheat the oven. I'll be right back. Do not go anywhere on me. All right, I have returned. <clears throat> Oh, we. Wah. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, timer. Timer. Come here. Eight. Oh, excuse me. Eight minutes, and then the bread has to go in. Well, let's see how this turns out. The fuck type of ship is this? What the hell? the stellar introduction. <laughs> Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. All we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. I agree. Killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list. Good. Hold on to that determination. Because you're about to learn there's a higher prize at stake. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. 
I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. So the unity is where the artifacts are from. The temples? They are all connected. But both of you are trying to keep people from it. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <coughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You've been to the Unity multiple times. What does that mean? It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. So you're Keeper Aquilus. Some other version of, well, some other version of the same person. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Whatever war is going on between the two, the two of you, I want no part of it. You're already in it. With artifacts come Starborn searching for them. Fighting over them. I want a truce. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Well then, this is... I'm gonna be honest, simultaneously surprising and not surprising. I'm more interested in what the fuck this ship is made out of. Alright, well, this is a perfect opportunity for me to save. And, um, hop downstairs and get the bread into the oven. Hang out, hang out for a bit for me, guys. Alright. 20 minutes before I have to go back downstairs and uh, put a bit of foil on that so it doesn't overbrown. I leave to make a burger, and now I have no idea what's going on. Cortex, several things. One, you missed where I did the accent. Two, um, you missed an enormous uh, revelation in this game, so...
I didn't miss the accent. Really? I checked who, I, I checked who was in chat. I thought for certain that you guys, uh... I, I thought for certain that you weren't there. I know we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, you it's might to think see the emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Sure, you have more questions. Ask. So, I was in your universe. What was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. So you try to protect the artifacts and keep them from being abused? You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. And what exactly is the armillary? When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the unity. And from there, you can become starborn. What happens when you enter the Unity? It's not an easy experience to describe. But the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Hmm. The Emissary and their kind only want to control you. You called the Emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things. But I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. You attack the Lodge, then let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me hacking through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's... new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. You had this meeting because of me. <laughs> No, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No? Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Well, why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. 
I admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the emissary to decide what to do about you. What is the unity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are seekers there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. Earth's moon? In the soul system? Yes. I will say no more. You Starborn sure like your you-must-see-for-yourself nonsense. I do not always know if you are a person I should be helping. Forgive me. I have also found that advice is a poor substitute for experience. I ask you again. Go to Earth's moon. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. This is quite the revelation. I will hand it to Bethesda. They've actually managed to surprise me with this one. I kind of expected things to go in such a strange direction. Oh, jeez. Hey, how are you? Being close to the Starborn star appears to have really fucked with you, Heller. I'm so sorry. I'd probably get cancer from that or something. I don't know. Um. Not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for the we've met thousands of times stories. And and now kiss. Also bet the unity sucked the atmosphere off of Earth. Well now there's something I hadn't thought of. It'll be interesting to see if that's the way that things go. Okay, I still got ten minutes. I think I got enough time to do another discussion. The things are going in a very interesting direction now. Alright, let's um Let's freaking save, man. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. There's an infinite number of... You know, there it is. It's the center of the multiverse. We're building the pathway to it. Wait. Say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards. And the implications are... A lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Apparently, in another universe, I died. Barrett lived. He's the emissary now. 
a Starborn. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. This is our mission, to go into the unknown. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Man, this is just fucking wild. We've always considered ourselves I'd like to talk to you about but something. this really is uncharted territory, chance. isn't it? What's your take on the Unity? Counter to everything I've said and believed before. I've caught myself wondering if we ever should have started this search. If this is all true, and I have it right, we've potentially started a chain of events that will create more of these Starborn. Or worse, enable the ones we've seen to become even stronger. I am not fond of either of those options. So maybe now we have no choice but to finish this journey before one of them does. We don't know for sure what will happen. No. I suppose we never really do. But I don't see any other possibilities right now. Look. I don't like the idea of siding with either one of these groups. I'd much rather see someone from Constellation get there first. I trust any of us far more than these Starborn. Hmm. Interesting that I don't have the opportunity to say to him, well, you know, the others are for, from Constellation too, just not the one in this universe. Goodbye. Man, wrapping your head around multiverses. Bye-bye. Hmm? You need something? Take it easy. Ah, hello. Very good. Okay. The characters who don't become your followers are way more interesting because you act, you can actually talk with Captain them. Captain William. Captain William. I have been idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. Yeah, we'll get used to it. You think this all, all this unity stuff is true? Gateways to parallel universes? Human understanding of physics has, until now, shown no indication that such a thing is possible. And yet, we have now encountered two individuals physiologically identical to unique humans we already know, possessing knowledge and technology that it seems improbable for them to otherwise have. It is indeed possible that they are telling the truth that this unity does exist. More data is required. Uh, I guess we need the rest of the artifacts then. That would at least verify the assertion that the artifacts are necessary to reach the unity. Yes. Let me know if I can be of assistance in the future. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, 
Now would be a good time for one. These artifacts all came out of caves, right? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Well, what do you think of this idea of unity? I, I thought I had a grip on the situation. I'm not so sure anymore. The Sanctum Universum believes that God wanted us to travel the stars. That's gotten us here. Is this... Could this be the next step in that journey? Is this what we were meant to learn out here? Could the unity... Could that be God? Or a, a way to reach him? We shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. After everything we've discovered, everything we've been through, everything we've lost, I can't help but wonder where this all leads. It's all gotta mean something. The one thing I'm sure of is that we have to see this through. We need to find the rest of the artifacts. Take care of yourself. Hmm. Bar's looking a little bit empty, brah. Chardonnay on the floor. No bourbon anywhere. I don't even like bourbon. If the emissary is Barrett, then who's the hunter? The hunter is the founder of Constellation. Probably not the same founder who, uh... Who came, uh, who, who came from this universe, but still. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. I'm not quite ready. I remember when deep space was, o was our only problem? Aye. The blackest sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Thanks, Vlad. I'll follow up on these. Catch a smile out there. Oh, man. Your safe return to the lodge. Please, the other members of Constellation. All right, chat. I got to get downstairs and uh, take care of that bread a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, I've returned. <clears throat> Got about 15 minutes before I have to get that bread out of the oven. Okay. Let's have some fun, shall we? Go off into the wild unknown and do some adventures. This is a this is a fascinating uh turn of events. Like a really fascinating turn of events. I need to, uh... I need to check CJ's. Don't worry, the fabulous dancer is on his way. Y you, you can stop looking behind you. Been up there, huh? Space? Jesus, that outfit. Yes! Yes! Oh, and Coyote, did you know that I've actually found something extremely uh, reasonably similar to this outfit? I don't, I don't know if I'll ever add it to the wish list, but I found this. I found this outfit. On Etsy. I 
I have. Look at that. Look at it. It's like 120 bucks, but... Look at that. It's not exactly the same thing, but I'd say that it's good enough. Although this does not look like someone's actually wearing it. This looks like a computer model or something. Or Photoshop. I, I, I don't know which you would call it. But yeah. Found it. <laughs> that one doesn't look bad. Wait, are you telling me that this glorious, glorious outfit here in Starfield does look bad? Just need to stick some insect limbs on it and you're good. <laughs> the, I, like, the question that I have is whether or not I should bother trying to put that on the, uh, on the, on the CJ's wish list, always as open. it were. I've got all your basics, right? All right, where's your potatoes? You better have potatoes. You got one potato. That sucks. You're terrible at carrying potatoes, CJ. Be seeing you. Will you look like one of those sand-filled stress <laughs> balloons? <laughs> oh, squeeze me, Chad. Squeeze me hard. Oh, oh, that's an interesting place to squeeze. Oh, oh my. Mm, harder. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna bounce. Have a good one. See ya. It was nice to have you along for the ride even for a bit there, uh, Jiggle Ham. You go ahead and jiggle those hams off into the sunset. Okay. Butter. There we go. I need to get rid of that. And I hold on to the potato because I keep making that mistake over and over. I keep getting rid of the potato whenever I don't mean to. Um, all right. Let us... <clears throat> Just here for a chat? You know, Heller, I never intended for you to become some sort of a fixture in the ship. But you just never really left after I saved your ass from, like, being shot or whatever. So... Check your ship's inventory. What? Oh, 
Hallo. I'm fine. Love you. Check my ships in there. I don't understand what the freaking deal here is. Um, I guess I'll go back up inside of my... Uh, I guess I'll go back in the ship. I don't understand what it wants me to do. Hey, it's always a good day when... No artifacts to add. Okay. Um. Being all funky chunky on me, man. There we go. Oh, I love it whenever I land 500 meters away from the fucking place that I want to land. Oh, man, guys. Ugh. I think this dancer's outfit doesn't have a lot of insulation. I'm feeling very cold. I think, I feel like I've shrunk even smaller than I already was. Listen, like, I, I just didn't know that, you know, things could shrink so much that an Audi would suddenly become an innie. That's all. We learn, th we learn new things all the time. You redeemed show mug. Well, the only mug you're gonna get is this one. Because I took my mug downstairs. I'm done with the coffee for the day. <laughs> Happy times. So, Doomsday, there, there there, you go. The closest thing to a show mug you get. God, this biscuit is proper crispy on the outside. This is perfect. Oh, man. Sounds good. Frostbite. Oh, okay. Well, kind of knew that that was going to happen. Arkham. This is an outrage. I would like a refund. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too late. There's, there's no refund to be had. You got your mug. Just wasn't the mug that you were expecting. Dark in here. Not reverse Uno card me. If reverse Uno card worked, I would be taking stuff off of the wall behind me and putting it on that way. But they just did. Quantum 
essence me. How many squats are we at? I will never tell. Strife needs a thousand more squats. No, 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 I need a thousand more dollars. Specifically tipped to me in pennies. We'll just have to brute force it then. Come on, chat, get him. Oh, for God's sake, why? Casium is really... It's awfully, like, flighty. Eh. Ah, crap! Gotta get the bread. I'm not muted, you're muted. Gather. Gather 500 inorganic resources. Well, isn't that fancy? Well, there's another artifact gathered. Chat, do you feel proud of yourself for what you've managed to accomplish today? And by accomplish, I mean the type of pain you that you decided to deliver to me. Why on earth are there so many mechs inside of a cave here? I'm confused.
being entirely honest, I'm I'm pretty annoyed by how dark caves are in this game. I am, but we can always be more next week. Basilis, you're not thinking of doing any financially irresponsible things next week, are you? Like, there's, there is nothing to be gained from doing something financially irresponsible next week. Complete entangled. Huh. Okay. Well, that's unexpected. Uh... Alright, so I've been going for almost four hours. I'm two minutes short of four hours. We've had a lot of fun here today, guys, but I'm not entirely certain whether or not... Like, this seems a reasonably good stopping point. You know? This one's fun. I, like... And I wish I could get going, but I have errands to run. I have other things that I need to get done today. And I'm at sitting at roughly the four hour point, even though it's more like it's been two and a half hour stream for me, basically, between you guys going and doing a run on me and giving me like, running a hype late, you know. Is there anything that will just cure my like, frostbite? Wait a minute, why the fuck didn't it cure my... Okay, it's showing it even though it's cured? The fuck? So now that that's done, I'll go ahead and quit to the desktop. Oh shit, son. I've had I've had some uh, I've had some connection hiccups today. How odd. Oh, okay. How interesting. Weird. Wonder if this is related to my stream hiccup a few days ago. Well, um, I I just happened to catch the um the monitor for like uh the connection for the system and um it did just basically completely tank for a brief moment i'm suspicious because of because i had to switch isps a couple of years ago um i you like my mom and dad were stuck to them the same isp for a long time 
they um they did have this problem we had this problem like ever so infrequently where it would be like okay everything's going fine and then all of a sudden the the router you know the modem router would just start to freaking do weird things like this i recognize this stuff basically you have to use the equipment that the isp gives you you can't buy your own equipment and it'll just crap out because obviously they're not giving you the highest quality of equipment they're just giving you equipment so there is a reasonable possibility that that's what's going on right now either way i'm up to 0.1 percent of frames dropped and it's definitely uh higher than it was the last time that i checked it's happened twice this stream so that's a thing <clears throat> chance of another stream tonight there is a chance of another stream tonight um here's the deal okay if there's another stream this evening which again i'm not going to guarantee one way or the other um if i stream again like me myself it will be over on the vod channel on youtube okay ah uh, right the router might be dying yeah yeah i'm 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 reasonably suspicious that the router might be in its death throes it might be associated with the fact that i've basically helped it to overheat by you by putting bread on top of it for several weeks now I didn't do that today, <laughs> but <laughs> um, here's the deal. If you get a stream tonight, it'll probably be somewhere around nine o'clock. If I am the one to stream it, it'll be on the VOD YouTube channel. If not, if it's, if I don't, if I'm not the one to stream, it'll be over on Tev's Twitch channel. Okay. So, um, Shout out to Jan Tevela there. Um, and if, uh, if if there is another stream, it'll, it'll just be Valheim. Because we're enjoying a lot of Valheim lately, you know? Um, again, don't know whether or not a stream will happen, but that's one of the two locations. It'll be like around 9, 10 central and um, over on Tev's channel here on Twitch or my VOD channel over on YouTube. Um, okay, let's actually count up these squats. How many did you guys decide to stick me with? 5, 10, 15, 20... 25 30 35 40 45 50 oh all 50 of them i i was i was sitting at five for so long i'll try to be there if there is one uh no guarantee one way or the other like uh i need to uh i need to open up tev's computer and uh futz with the cooler on it tev honestly needs a new and different uh cooler on the uh on her processor to get it cooler cooler man nacho no um <laughs> Yeah, pretty long, so it's probably uh, so. This is probably a good stopping point. I'm glad that I'm choosing a good place to stop because you know, like just being able to stop and like do some other things in the game. I Bethesda games excel where you're just kind of running around doing whatever the hell you want to. Yeah, the CPU is running 60 right now. You're not really even doing doing anything with that CPU, are you? I mean, admittedly, my my CPU is running at about 70 right now, but I'm streaming so. And shit that runs the way that it does. I gave the last five a couple of minutes ago. Well, look at you, Tatsu. So yeah, uh, I've 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 got to do a little bit of work on Tev's computer, um, and I've got yard work and stuff to do as well. Like the backyard's looking a little bit shaggy. I gotta trim the verge, as it were. I gotta mow the lawn. Don't worry, I'm gonna get out the uh, shaving cream and the razor, and uh, I'm gonna go stream over on uh, Pornhub or something, because <laughs> I'm certain that that's somebody's kink. Uh. <laughs> so strife is going to become tasty nachos yes indeed indeedy weedy she's watching vampire the masquerade fanfic with pictures God. Fucking. oh my word okay well chat before i get into this whole squat um uh what do, what do i what would i call this um ritual there we go the squat ritual now, uh, before I get into the squat ritual, I just want to say thanks so very, very much for all of the cheers and the subscriptions and the gift subscriptions and stuff. And thank you so much for the donations as well. Holy moly, have I ever gotten a lot today. You've been an incredible audience. You've been very engaging. You've been um, obstinate as well. Um, but 
you know, even, even though in the moments and everything, I'm just like, would you, would you quit it? Would you stop it? I, it still helps me. It still helps me a great deal. And, you know, if nothing else, you got me to um, take the stuff off of the wall. A squatuation. Yes, indeed. You got me. You got me to take the stuff off of the wall and put the uh, put a different setup there, which um, I want to give you. Congratulations on that front because I didn't think that that was going to come around. It's it's the days where I don't expect things to happen that um, that I'm always caught having to show things off that I didn't think I would ever end up showing off. So um, once again, I hope you enjoyed looking at the set. Um, and you inadvertently ended up making me put what was on the wall back on because I didn't have anything else to grab. <laughs> so, fun times. Anyways, um, you uh, horny, filthy freaks, let's go ahead and do 50 squats and call it, an, uh, call it a stream, shall we? All right, where is my squat music at? Sometimes I get to it in time to, like, not blast people's ears out. Other times I'm just thoroughly unsuccessful at it completely always strife well always right back uh, right back at you okay chat let's go ahead and do 50 squats and maybe i'll add a uh uh maybe i'll add those uh that, that fancy like dancers outfit to the to the wish list and watch as um <laughs> watch as nobody has the money to uh, to purchase it because i can't fathom anyways <laughs> Let's, let's do 50 squats. Sometimes you could remember to mute the tab before you open the link. Might be a good idea. He could, but that would not be as fun. Is he doing 100 squats? No, just 50. It winded you, huh? Yeah, it did. That was a... That was rigorous. Let's do 50 more. Sure, just drop another hundo and I'll do another 50. I just fell to my death building my second story in Valheim. Rip my stupidity. Oh no. The audio is lagging? It is? That's a problem. Do you mean my, uh, my words are not matching up to my lips? Because I've had to put manual delay into OBS long, long time ago. <sighs> All right, chat, listen. If you're lucky, you'll see me again tonight on, uh, on my YouTube VOD channel, exclamation VOD, if you've uh, not followed it. So, you know, extra streams happen over there. You know, subscri uh, subscribe, click the bell, etc. Uh, and if you don't see me over there this evening, then if there's any stream at all, it'll be it'll happen over on Yon Tevela's channel. She's down in chat. You can go ahead and just tap her name and figure it out. <clears throat> Anyways, chat, you've been wonderful. You've been lovely. You've been fucking filthy. So, thanks so so much for coming along for the ride. Thanks for your generosity. Thanks for your horniness. I will see all of you next time on Monday at the very least, if not sooner. Until then though, take care of yourselves. Ta uh, take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay cool in the waning summer heat. And uh, 